At Philadelphia's Eastern State Penitentiary, scientists are on a hunt for explanations of what might account for so many hauntings reported here, so many of which are still unexplained. Seeing all these things coming out of the wall, real slow. Locksmith Gary Johnson was terrified by ghosts. He says traveled through solid objects with ease. And I started getting these urges to run, get the hell out of here. Theoretical astrophysicist Dan Hooper applies the principles of science to these witness accounts. If they're true, it seems they indicate ghosts might defy the laws of earthly physics. Let me put my skepticism aside for a moment and just imagine that there's some sort of entity in a, in a place like this or somewhere else, and, and it acts a way that we think ghosts normally act, or popular culture would tell us ghosts behave. For scientist Hooper, that begs the fundamental question. What are ghosts made of? Energy, atoms, or something else? So that means these things have to be able to move through solid walls. These are thick walls of right. stone and concrete, right? Yeah. So this is something that has to be able to move through that as if it were air. And if ghosts are visible to the naked eye and take on any kind of a physical form, even that of a mist or vapor, then like most things in the universe, they would have to be made of atoms, the building blocks of all matter. The problem with that theory is that swirling around the nucleus of every atom are electrons. And these electrons have a very strong repulsive force. So strong that it can deflect all other matter. That's why solid objects can't pass through other solid objects. So what would happen if ghosts made of atoms tried to pass through a wall? We imagine that ghosts were made of the same stuff that all of the ordinary matter we're, we're used to. Um, if that were the case, then ghosts couldn't travel through solid objects. They would stop just like my hand stops against my other hand, or my hand stops when I press against a wall, or anything like this. Instead, we might imagine, though, that ghosts could be made of something different, something that's not atoms, something more exotic. For instance, ghosts might be made of particles known as neutrinos. They're actually sometimes called ghost particles. That's their nickname for the, the very reason uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Science's most likely building blocks for an apparition are ghost particles. If a ghost were made of neutrinos, then unlike normal matter, their particles would have no electrons surrounding them. Without a layer of electrons, these ghost particles carry no electric charge. And without a charge, they have no repulsive force to push against other matter. Instead, they can simply pass right through all objects in nature, including the walls of the prison. They pass through everything. That's why they call them ghost particles. In fact, if I hold up my hand and wait a second, millions of neutrinos just pass through it. So you might be tempted to imagine that maybe the ghosts are made up of some particle like neutrinos, and this enables them to pass through material. But here's the kicker. If they were, they would not emit any light or electromagnetic radiation, and we're back where we started without a signal to see. A ghost made of neutrinos could pass through solid walls, which would explain the locksmith's sighting. But it would be undetectable to ghost hunting technology. And if that's the case, there could be no solid scientific proof that ghosts exist. And yet the sightings keep coming in.